Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we continue to come to you live from the floor of ITW with thought leaders from across our industry. And our current guest is no exception to that. I'm proud to be joined here by Jeff Bloom, or Jeff Bloom, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Bloom. Barber. I like that. Jeff. Jeff Barber of, of Bloom Energy. Uh, so thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to yes, see you. Yes, you as well, Barb. And the absolute first bar blooper that I've ever heard. <laughs> I know. It's good. In but you're, 20 you're of these. just so, I just think of, you know, Jeff and Bloom and it's yeah. just. Jeff Bloomer. Amazing. Yeah. Right, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go so with good. that. Um, so tell us a little bit for uh, any of our viewers who may not know about Bloom. Let's just start there. Sure. Uh, essentially, Bloom is on-site power generation with no combustion. We're natively a hydrogen fuel cell, but we extract that hydrogen from natural gas or biogas or other forms containing methane. Um, it is a much greener alternative to anything that's combusting. It's highly efficient. I get the uh, comment a lot that this is quote unquote new technology. It's, yeah. it's not, fuel cells have been around for a hundred years. Um, we've just perfected the manufacture with no with no precious metals or anything like that. And like I said, no combustion. So it's, we can scale. That's yeah. the bottom line. And sustainability, we're going to talk more about that. But obviously yep. it's, you know, on the, in the hearts and minds of almost sure. everyone here, hopefully sure. everyone here. Uh, and, you know, with the, just the uh, amazing demand for um, continued growth around digital infrastructure and, and uh, data expansion mm -hmm. driven by some of the things maybe you'll talk about. Absolutely. But let's talk about that. Talk about sort of what's driving some of this and how you at Bloom are responding. What's driving the demand for digital infrastructure? Uh, for sustainability. Oh, sustainability support, yeah. and infrastructure. Yeah. Well, obviously, the the tenants and the developers, it's in everyone's best interest to to yeah. reduce reduce pollutants and carbon where we can, right? So and that's yeah. still top of mind. And in many parts of the world, you see that being legislated now, right? Uh, outlawing right. diesel gens in Germany as an example and what's going on in Ireland and that's coming to the United States so yeah. that's definitely a coming trend the what's driving the demand is, is just our, our digital infrastructure is obviously the hottest sector in real estate by far it's barely any inventory yeah and they have a couple of power problems in case the audience right. is not heard yeah <laughs> Yes. Um, and so, so tomorrow you, well, first of all, let's back up. You are a contributing author. I am. To Greater yes. Data, Volume 2, uh -huh. which just came out. Happy to sign autographs. Oh, yeah. Copies. You'll be there tomorrow Jeff Bloomer. signing Jeff autographs. Bloomer, yes. uh, yeah, we're, there will be a panel. Uh, you'll yep. be taking part in that. I Tell will. us a little bit about what you'll be discussing on the panel. Um, I hit the topic fairly straightforward that, you know, essentially natural gas is not the devil. Um, it's responsible for most of the CO2 reductions over the last couple of decades. Yeah. Um, we reform natural gas to extract the hydrogen, essentially. No one wants pure hydrogen more than Bloom. So my chapter is really about um, how in which we can take, how we can take pragmatic steps to reduce carbon today. Yeah. Um, everyone wants, you know, a brand new flux capacitor that will power the world with no pollution. Everyone wants green hydrogen distributed to their site in quantity. Uh, everyone wants those things, of course, yeah. but there are pragmatic steps we can take today. And the fact that a carbon reduction, much like a 401k investment, it has a compounding effect, a positive compounding effect. Yeah. A ton of CO2 removed today or avoided today, it, 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 it escalates exponentially in the future. Yeah. Right? So we look forward to hearing from you tomorrow. So for everyone mm -hmm. who's tuning in and you want to come here uh, Jeff speak tomorrow. 4.15 will be the panel. It'll be packed. It will be packed, will yes, be packed. Uh, followed by the green martinis, which yeah, will uh, exactly. even be more packed. But It'll yeah. be packed because of the cocktails. That's all right. <laughs> right. Um, so we talked about, you know, the the growth of this conversation around sustainability and what's driving that. But let's and, you know, of course, also the growth of digital infrastructure. Yep. But let's talk about what's driving that. So, you know, in terms of AI and machine learning and, and some of these things that Again, one of the topics that comes up a lot at a show like this, mm -hmm. how is Bloom, you know, sort of ready to respond to, to that part of the conversation? Yeah, um, very well, I would say, right? So the bottom line, when you have on-site power that you are in control of behind the meter, which is Bloom, we can deliver products many, many years ahead of centralized utility or traditional utility. Yeah. You're not waiting for transmission lines. You're not waiting for a substation build out. We can, we can deliver equipment on site and begin delivering electrons to you. 
And that can help, of course, with building out white space or densification of racks. Um, and in just in the, the general growth of even traditional data centers is unbelievable right now. Yeah. Many, many gigawatts under construction, not a lot of gigawatts available from the utility. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it's what we do. A bottleneck. Bit yeah. of a bottleneck, yeah. Um, so let's, again, just sort of close on just talking a bit more broadly about Bloom's solutions mm -hmm. and, and what other offerings you have. Yeah. Um, Bloom, we are very, very busy in the data center space, yeah. right? So essentially, because these boxes, um, there's nothing magical about them. Like I said, fuel cells have been around a long time, yeah. but they're all individual power modules, if you will, very modularized. So we can scale to to any limit you would like. We have multiple 70, 80, 100 megawatt contracts in play right now. Um, the, the market is realizing that the utility is not going to show up this time. They've been told for years that, no, we, you can't have power, but then all of a sudden the utility will deliver it. That's not happening any longer, certainly not in California, yeah. right? So um, I, it's a time to power play. If you're a developer, uh, it allows your tenants to come to market five, six, seven years ahead of where they would if they had to wait for utility. If you're a tenant, there's a real ROI there. Yeah. So it's really a time to power play right now. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. Uh, so for the remainder of the week, what's sort of on the agenda for you? Any any big things you're hoping to, to gain? Any big conversations you hope um, that transpire? Green martinis Green, is yes. first on the agenda. Obviously the highlight. Obviously the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> no, just we're just packed solid with meetings. Uh, yeah. Primarily developers that have tenants in tow that are ready to sign leases and they cannot get power. So, you know, Bloom is still, myself and my team, we're doing much better with the education, but we're still educating the market that this is not some magical box that's hard to understand. Right. It does look different from traditional utility because it is on-site power, like I said. Um, so there's a lot of conversations around our efficiency compared to combustion, yep. a lot of conversations around how, how high can we scale. How, how big can we go? Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's pretty much the full week. Mine started on Sunday, believe it or not. Did it? It oh, did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It was so good. You, you have a full, it's full week. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's yeah, always Mark. a pleasure. Always a pleasure to chat with you. I'm sure we'll be chatting again in I, another month or two. And I certainly hope things, so. Things uh, continue to progress for, mm -hmm. for you and the whole team at, at Bloom Energy. So well, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate yeah. you. I'll be legally changing my name here pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Bloomer. Jeffrey Bloom. Yes. <laughs> Jeff Barber here <laughs> joining us today. Thank you so much. Thanks, and Barb. thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.